In this video, we're going to focus on how we can get the data point here if we click on a specific bar. For example, here in this case, this we see your data set 0 and data point 0. If I do in this one, it should be data set 0 and data point 6. And if I do this here Friday, it should be data set 1 and data point 4. Let's start to explore how to do this. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find here on Chartjes. 3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what we're going to do here first is to make sure that we are able to create a function to recognize the click. So I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom, or even before that, I want to make sure we have the step bar chart here. So I'm going to add up here a new item comma paste and just remove all the colors except for a one color in this case it's the black color I'll say here the black sales and then I'll give this different values so they are easy to distinguish I'm going to save that then what I want to do I want to make sure that this is a stacked bar chart so it's a stack equals true copy this put a comma here paste save and refresh there we are so now we have these items and what I want to recognize the moment I click on this one we get the data from this black bar here to do that we need to create a function so we say here yeah, function and let's call this our click handler and this click handler will have the parameter of click and then what I want is let's put on some space there what I want to do here is do a built-in functionality. However, the click is based on my chart div or ID that I have. In this case, it's my chart. So I'll say a constant, say points, and I'm going to say here my chart, and then I use a function get elements at event for mode. And in this case, the event that I want to trigger is the click event. And what I want to do is I want to get the value of the bar, which is the nearest to my click. So in this case, if I would click here some, or I will make sure we'll click on the bar specifically. If I click on that, the nearest one is the one I'm on. It's very logical. So what I'm going to say here, nearest. And then we're going to say here, comma, it should be an intersect equals true. Why intersect means if I'm on that specific bar or across the lines where the bar is triggered. And then we set this as true, there we are. So once we have this, what I can do now is create a simple if statement here, or let's do a console log first. And then I'm going to say here, the points, save, refresh. Of course, if I do right now this, it will not recognize the function. So what I need to do here is create a function that will recognize or create the trick, the trigger. So for that, it is my chart, but my chart is the chart object. The chart object is located in this canvas. So I want from the chart object dot canvas, and then we can say here on click triggering. So once we have that, I want to select this function that I trigger. Save this, refresh, and now if I click here, you can see here it does something. It gives us a blank. If we're not intersecting or on a specific bar, but if we're on a bar, you will see, it will give us the information of that item, data set, index, everything what we need to know. So what I'm going to do here now is just get those specific points or go more specific to get that individual point that I want. So an if statement, we'll say points.length. And then if there is a length, as you can see here, if we click on the blank, there's no length. So I don't want to have those datas uh, showing up. I want the only one specifically that has a data point. So then what I'm going to say here, um, then what I will say here, I want to get the first point, which is basically points index zero, which makes sense because we can see here, we only have one index because this is not a line where we have two crossing points on the same exact location. In this case, every bar segment has its own specific location. So then when I have that, what I could do here now is say console log first point, save, refresh. So if I do this, you can see here, we're getting all the data here. 
there we are so what I could do is even more specifically uh, we can say here uh, constant index equals I want to grab here then the uh, index of the data set so let's say a data set data set will be equal to what exactly whatever is the first point dot data set index so data set index there we are and what I want to do as well is to get the index itself which is the data point so I'm going to say here the data point data point will be equal to the index of that item so if I save that then refresh we should get here uh, the console log let's do a console log again and extract those points here so this is data set what I can do here is template literals so I'm going to say here dollar sign this is a variable it is the oh and then of course it must be in here it is data set that all right and then I say comma and the data point equals whatever is the data point here so if I save this refresh click it is zero zero which is correct if I click on this one it should be one one if I click on this it should be zero data set zero and data point number two as you can see here this all works and this should be zero six there we are and that's it